Hey, what's up, guys? Tuki here, back again with another episode of my New England Patriots franchise mode series right here on Madden 20, and today we continue on with Season 1, Brady's Last, barring a miracle. Of course, we started the last season off on a little bit of a low note, losing to the Steelers in our home opener, our season opener as well, but we bounced back with two straight wins. We left the last episode with, hey, re-sign-wise, I mean, obviously we're... We're waiting for most of these guys. I mean, Joe, Joe Tooney's going to be re-signed, but for most of these players, we're going to be letting them walk. It's going to be a much different team next year. It's going to be a much younger team next year. But for the most part, because I don't really envision myself trading draft picks or whatever or younger players to make this team better for this year, we're just going to see whether or not this squad has enough to get the job done and hopefully be competitive. Now, before we get into the game, of course, we started by taking a look at the quarterbacks. Sometimes you can find steals, sometimes, often not for quarterbacks. If there was ever a draft to just look at every quarterback, this would be the one. I don't know if I will necessarily, and unfortunately it's uh, it's not getting much better here in terms of quarterbacks. Jesus. <laughs> well, I hope that Colin Spitzer is half decent. Otherwise, Stidham's going to be our quarterback next year. Because yikes. Yikes. I'm not going to sign Breeze. I'm not going to sign Phillip Rivers if they're there. It's it's going to be rough, rough going in the interim here. I mean, unless... You know what? We might as well. Like, if there's another B-plus from any of these guys... Okay, so, like, Batch might be decent... I'd bank on him more than I'd bank on Callaway. The issue are, or the issue is, issues are, uh, scramblers. That's not, that's not going to work for me. <laughs> it just isn't, so yeah, it's, it's a rough go. You know what? Screw it. Out of desperation. I mean, the good thing is we're not starting from scratch completely. You know, we at least have a roster to build around, unlike the uh, draft of glory we've been running on Twitch, which, yes, this year we'll probably run a draft of glory on the YouTube side of things as well. But, yeah, I mean, we're desperate for a quarterback above all else, so screw it, I'll waste the points. I'm not really all that concerned, even though we don't really have the points to waste. So with that, let's get down to business. We are in Buffalo in week four. The Bills, no X-Factors at the moment, but they obviously have some strong players, although Micah Hyde is the only one with abilities. I imagine Tredavious White will get there sooner rather than later. But Micah Hyde, the only one with abilities, apparently. Uh, so, not too many... Not too many players that we gotta worry about. I'd like to think we could beat Buffalo here, but... You never know. They could give us trouble. Allen, eight touchdowns, one pick. Very similar numbers to Brady. Uh, fewer yards total. But a very good start to the season for Allen. Hopefully we can shut him down. We're going to handle this as we always do. We'll sit into the fourth quarter, see what we're dealing with, and take it from there. Although we did start off on a high note. A touchdown pass to tight end Lance Kendricks. We have an early lead within three minutes. Buffalo responds with a touchdown of their own. We answer right back, and it's 14-7 after 15 minutes. It was ultimately a 15-yard well, touchdown pass from Allen to Croft. And then we responded... For the touchdown pass to Julian Edelman. Let's go to the half. See if we can maintain the lead. 21-7. 24-7. And that will be the score at the half. So a decent lead for us. 44-yard touchdown pass to Julian Edelman. Let's go to the fourth. As it stands, there's going to be no controversy. And we're not going to have to jump in here. 31-7 at the start of the fourth. Methinks this game is pretty much over and done with. But you never know, there, there could be the late comeback, especially if they score early here, which they do not. They fall short at the one. We got ten and a half minutes left. We are forced to punt, killed two minutes. I mean, we're, we're good. We're good. They do score quickly there, though. 31 to 15, 55-yard touchdown pass to Cole Beasley. Can Brady and company shut it down? We can't. I mean, technically, if Buffalo scores here, they're looking good. But ultimately, they fall short, and that should be the game. And it is 31-15. We go up to Buffalo and walk away 
with the victory. We moved to three and one on the season. Very well done overall. Good effort from the team. 485 yards on offense to Buffalo's 332. Player stats wise, I mean, Brady had a pretty damn good game. Three touchdowns and a pick, 385 yards. Rushing wise, Sony Michelle saw a lot more of the ball, but a touchdown for James White. They barely ran with LaShawn McCoy. They just didn't run the ball, and I don't know why. In general, the AI does not run enough, whether it be running backs or quarterbacks in the sim. Uh, damn good game for Edelman. Two touchdowns as well. Uh, really, I only care about our team, but I figured, eh, people might, want, people might want to see what the Bills did. Pretty damn good game, though. Harry had a good game as well. Uh, any sacks allowed? Couple of sacks. Cannon and Isaiah win defensively. Patrick Chung led the way in terms of tackles. Couple tackles for loss. Sacks from Winovich and Hightower. Hit me interception from Jason McCordy. Goskowski, although <laughs> in the preseason game against Detroit last night, they spelled his name on the jersey. Damn good start. That was, uh, I didn't get to catch much of that game, unfortunately, but you know. What are you going to do? Christian Sam. Might as well just make you better. You're never really going to be a scheme fit. Up to a 64 overall. I think he has 23. If that development pattern goes up, we could be looking good. Week 5, we head down to Washington. But before then, we get a big time moment. The breakout player opportunity. The best thing about franchise mode this year by far. Because really, they didn't change much. But what a change this is. If Ankeel Harry gets 150 yards receiving or three touchdowns, his developmental trait will go up. And you bet you sweet buns, we're going to uh, we're going to take advantage of that. We're going to run and uh, we're going to run into the sim and get that done. Because yeah, please, yes, Ankeel Harry on a better dev uh, on a better dev pattern. That is what I live for. So one of it up to a 70, maybe? No, but he is a scheme fit now. So he'll be he'll be benefiting from the extra practice. I can't speak today is what I have learned. Very excited. The opportunity to get Harry those extra bonus points. Before we do that, though, let's let's hope maybe, possibly. Oh, Parnell, you really let me down. You really let me down. So quarterback wise, it's it's rough. It is very, very rough unless somebody shows up last second. Now in terms of what else we need to scout for, I honestly think the big thing for us is gonna be the O line. Running back wise, we're set. Sony Michelle is going to be our guy for the foreseeable future. Wide out wise, we do need help. The good thing is we have Harry. Aside from him, it's a little bit rough. I mean, Josh Gordon, we're probably not going to bring back at 29 years old. Thomas and Edelman, they're not long for this team. So we'll take a look at wide receiver first. But obviously you guys saw the O-line depth that we have, or lack thereof. That is going to be a pretty big issue. Is there a wide out scout? There is. Davey Sadler, come on down. Let's see if you can find us another receiver to hopefully dominate alongside and kill Harry for the next decade. And Lamont Way, there's a lot of first round projected talents, which is a good sign at the very, very least. And from there, let's go. Mm, go with that, go with that for now. That's fine. That is fine. So let's do this 150 yards for Ankeel Harry. And that dev pattern goes up. Redskins with Williams, who, from what I understand, is refusing to go back to Washington. Ryan Kerrigan and Landon Collins. So it could be a little bit rough. But damn it, we need to do this. We need to get this higher dev pattern. And we will. I am damn ready to get our wide receiver to the next highest level. Now, this was this was why I you know posed the question to you guys over do I jump in at all? And if so, how much? Is because some people would be like, ah, eh, sim this and see if he gets it. If he gets it, cool. If he doesn't, oh well. If I have the opportunity to play, if you guys say, hey yeah, go ahead and play, kind of like we do more so on Twitch, then yeah, I'm gonna jump in all the time. <laughs> 
to make sure that we get these. So let's do this. 150 yards. We're going to go with the verts and see where it puts Harry. It puts him on the outside, which is actually not where I want him. We're going to send Ben Watson down. And we're going to have Harry cut across the middle. Let's do this. There he is. Bam. Quick and easy. Quick and easy. Good old Nikhil Harry. And Keel, Nikhil. What are you going to do? What are we going to go for? Play action's a bit risky. I don't want him running deep here on these, though. So I don't think he's going to get overly open. We'll have him cut across the middle. See what we can do. Harry. Bam. Holds on to it as well. Well done. 26 yards on two throws. Good amount of progress thus far. Is he still out there? Yes, he is. And I want to drop back to the gun again. Let's send Edelman. Let's send Thomas to clear out space. Send Harry back across the middle. See if we can get him open. And wow! You know? So you got to look at the ridiculous amount of injuries. It was a low throw. Intentionally a low throw, but I thought uh, I thought it would be a little bit of a better throw than that. Turns out I didn't have to low throw it. Oh, he's wide open this time. Yeah, we're not missing him that time. Perfect. He is just ripping apart this defense right now with these cuts across the middle. The good thing is plenty of wide outs to leave it open. He is not on. We will uh, we will run with white here. Now let's just go for it. Hope for the best. Hope for the best. Hope for the best. We're hoping for the best. We're hoping. Ah, oh, I felt that one from here. Uh, headshot. That's not targeting, but it is a 19-yard pickup for James White. Harry is out there. Let's uh, let's do this. God, I love the expanded options. For Brady, I'm just not used to them. I haven't had a quarterback with pro reads yet that I've really used. Harry. Got it. Oh, stuck at the one. Stuck at the one. Let's see if we can run it in here. Sony. I, ooh, you know, I, I'm not liking that. Let's just go ahead and opt out of that bad boy. Go to the slant. Get Sony going out. Sony! Oh, Tom, not like this. I thought the O-line would, uh, thought the O-line would hold up a little bit better than they did. They did not. But because of that, let's just go ahead and run it here. And, oh my god, it's a touchdown! <laughs> Is that Tooney? Yay! Joe Tooney with a rushing touchdown! <laughs> That was one of the most violent hits I think I've ever seen in this game. That was Collins who knocked it loose, but Joe Tooney recovers. And we are on the board. Beautifully done. The defense able to get a stop as well. Job well done through the first. Harry's not on. In fairness, we could have probably simmed to the third or the fourth and let the AI get a little bit of it. Ugh, that's unfortunate. Could have let the AI do a little bit of the work for us, but screw it. I want to risk it. Injuries are on. Let's see if he gets hurt so that I can hate everything about life. That is the game plan. And again, we're going to send Harry over the middle. And uh, let's go ahead and do that. Try to get Harry open. a boy, Harry. Good stuff. Not sure how many yards he's up to. But we're getting there. Again, he needs 150. And Brady is feeling it. Whew! I thought 90 was going to get that. No injuries, please. Thank you. <laughs> God, I love having a receiving threat like James White. And a quarterback like Tom Brady who can hit those throws consistently. And again, our main threat's not out there. So we'll run this with Michelle. Oh, Sony, you beautiful man. You beautiful man. 18 yards on three carries. I like what I'm seeing. All right, let's see. Harry is out. 
You know, we're going to go for this. We're going to keep him on his normal route. Brady now on first down. And Tom misses a throw. Oh, no. I mean, it would have been for White. That's not obviously our target, but a rare miss throw from Mr. Brady. Didn't miss that time. And I had a feeling that was coming. Hopefully, the yards still count. I held right bumper to protect the ball. Uh, the game didn't much care, apparently. But that'll still count for Harry. And he is very, very close to having the yardage that he needs. They do have some heavy hitters on this defense. Let's actually double check here. Harry, how close are you, buddy? How close? You gotta be close, right? You gotta be. 93 yards are actually not as close as I would have thought, but that's okay. That is okay. Harry, still not out here, really. Oh, you are blitzing, but I'm going for this anyway. I trust the line! Trust the line! That a boy, Sony. Dude, the game changers we have on this offense. I am... I am in love. I am in love. It brings us to the end of the first. We're tied at seven. An unfortunate, uh, an unfortunate fumble earlier did not help. We need a three-receiver set for Harry to be out here, so... We'll run with Michelle again. Because at the end of the day, I still want to win. And let's go ahead and make sure we are in a formation with multiple receivers. And we are. So let's, uh, let's see if we can get Harry open. It's not looking good. Now it's looking okay. Oh my god, is that Norman? Yeah, it is. That explains it. And they have game changers on that defense. Alright, big third down. We got this. Bam! There you go, Harry. Excellent. Excellent. Perfect. 106 yards for Harry. We're getting there. See if we can get the run going. Hopefully set up a, a deeper pass. I really wish Michelle didn't get caught up on his own lineman there, but we're doing okay. I want to get this with Harry, damn it. Like I said, I want to earn this. He's not out here right now, but that's okay. I want to earn this. I don't want to just sim and see if he gets it. Screw that. We are earning this today. We need a three wide out set. There we go. All right, let's uh, send White out on the wheel. Harry into the middle. Let's do this. Harry's not really there, but James White is. I'll take it. I'll take it. You know what to save? Well, you know what? Screw it. We're already here. We're already here. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, you mean to tell me we can't block here? Really? We got this. I trust the line. I trust the line. Never tell me the odds with James White in the backfield. Come on. Never tell me the odds when James White's in the backfield. Let's get Harry the yardage he needs. Get out of this game and move on. Just a bit. I was pressured. Just a bit outside. It's okay. Tom's not hurt. He's the man. We're good. See if we can hit Harry over the middle. Easy. No fumble. So, the good thing is the yardage still counts, but my god, can Keel Harry not hold on to the ball? <laughs> and they end up scoring as a result. I think, I think he has the yardage. It still counts, but that is, uh, that is, that is rough. Two fumbles in the same game here, huh? Harry, okay, we're 18 yards away. That's not bad. 18 yards away. We could get that right here if Harry ends up being open on the drag, which hopefully he is. He's not, but Sony Michelle was. I threw it. I threw it a little bit late. I waited until the last possible second to hope that Harry had gotten open. He did not. You know what? Let's just send Harry and see if it opens up for him. 
Mm-hmm, <laughs> that's... I saw Marcus Cannon just standing there. So something went wrong. Go ahead and let me know what went wrong. Oh, we need this first. We need this first. Let's do it. Easy catch, Thomas. There you go. There you go. All right, we're looking. We're looking okay. We're looking all right. We need a three wide out set here, game. Come on. From the gun, please. From the gun. This is taking longer than I would have hoped, but that's okay. Harry's out there. This is your time, Harry. It's your time. I needed to wait a second longer. I needed to wait a second longer. Damn you for putting up a fight. Just let me get the yardage I need, man. Alright. We got this. White on the wheel. Harry. Cut in. We should be fine. They are double coveraging Harry. Let's just air it out, shall we? Because James White is a miracle man. So why not just air it out when James White can perform miracles? Like a voodoo priestess. Voodoo priest? Shaman. He is my Papa Shango. Alright. You know what? As much as I... Yo! MTV raps. Is Are they going to force a fumble on every hit? Jesus! Alright, Harry, I believe in you. You got this, I believe. Force it to him. There it is. That's not the yardage we needed. But I'll take it. We at least get a touchdown. So two more touchdowns are a little bit extra in terms of yardage. We'll obviously look for the yardage. Is he there? Is that what we needed? And can we back out or at least sim to the fourth quarter from here? This has been a much longer game than expected. He is 10 yards short. Damn it. I said I was going to get it myself. Next time, if we ever have to do this, I'll sim to at least halftime. But let's, let's go. Let's go. We're good. You know what? Let's just... Uh, we'll just take the two-yard pickup with Watson. That's fine. Harry wasn't open. Didn't mean to run the same play, but... Let's go for Vert. Send Harry over. Send White across. See what we got. Harry! And he had to stay inbound. Cannon, you hustle. That a boy. Damn it. You know, I'm okay with throwing the pick with Brady. I could have been more patient to uh, to get the job done with Harry. I just hate that I added an interception to Brady's record. <sighs> God damn it. I, I shouldn't have forced it, but I'm getting impatient. I'm getting impatient. That's a horse collar and a half, but that should be just about enough. We're so close. We are... Nope, that's not what I wanted for Edelman. We are so close to getting the job done with Harry here. So close. Come on, we got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. We don't got this. Washington, why you gotta put up a fight? Why? Why? Just let this happen. Freaking... I just realized there's one second left in the half. That's how little I was paying attention. That's fine. We'll run it. We'll run it right down your throat. We won't run it right down your throat. So that brings us to halftime. I am going to sim the third quarter. And we'll see what happens from there. I would hope everything would be fine. We need one reception, basically, with Harry to get it. Everything should be fine. We will sim a little bit through the fourth, although we are still tied at 28 apiece, so this is anybody's game because I threw that damn pick while being impatient. Let's see what happens here. We are losing. I am going to trust the offense to deliver, and they always do. We are tied with 643 left. They fail. We take over. Now, the question that I have first... And foremost, has Harry gotten the yardage that he needs? Please tell me he's there. He is. He's at 183. Beautiful. 
So for the moment then, we'll trust the team to win the game. We'll only jump in if need be. And they may have just won the game. Two minutes left. We should be okay here. I would hope. Dietrich Wise with the sack. Another sack, or maybe that was just that was just replayed for some reason. Uh, they end up with a nine-yard gain, third and eight. And this could be the game right here. Fourth and eight. Can we seal the deal against Washington? With Nkeel Henry taking the step up. That is the worst bit of AI defense I have ever seen from Gilmore. And they are still alive. Let's sim again. If they get close, we'll pay attention. Eight yards for Peterson. 54 seconds left. You know what? Let's just watch it at this point. Screw it. Might as well see what happens from here. I'm going to trust the team to get it done. Instead of playing defense. Smith throw over the middle. They're going to have to burn a timeout. There they go. I was going to say, they better burn a timeout. They better be smart enough for that. 31 seconds left. Can we hold on? Or will Washington force overtime? Alex Smith throws out, finds a wide open man. At the 14, Smith has four touchdowns in this game. Doxson again. And let's see. 26 seconds left at the 14. One timeout. Can the defense hold on, or am I going to live to regret trusting them? Smith looking, throws, touchdown. Oh, okay. And that is what I get for trusting the Patriots defense, apparently. <laughs> that is what I get. We'll go change of possession. They hit the extra point. We have 18 seconds. Let's see if we can save the day, shall we? A hell of a lot more gameplay from this game against the Skins than I would have thought. Here's Matthew Slater. And a decent little return up to the 31. 14 seconds. Numerous timeouts. We'll look for Harry or Thomas on the outside. Ah, Thomas just couldn't hold on to it. Goskowski is the 41-yard line as a target. We will look for the exact same thing here. To Demarius Thomas. Tremendous catch. And saves a timeout. Now up to 8,000 yards. We're at the 44. Just shy of the target line. It's a 61-yarder for the win. We might be able to hit this. I knew they were going to ace me. Can Goskowski hit a 61-yarder for the win? <sighs> you know, I think we can improve our chances. This is a major risk, but we have five seconds in all of our timeouts. Down ourselves, timeout, perfect. Perfect execution. They're out of timeouts. They can't ice us. And we're up to the 38. Don't blow it. Don't blow it. Come on, Gost. Come on! Bingo! Whew. A clutch run, clutch execution. And the Patriots win a shootout. 45 to 42. Steven Goskowski is the hero. But it's all smiles and all pictures. Because Alex Smith is the man. That is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Like you're acting like it's the like maybe on the Thanksgiving Day game. Alex Smith is quite the competitor. I don't think he's gonna be that okay with losing that game, but you know what? Could be wrong. Huge win for us. Huge moment as well as Nkeel Henry gets the step up. 618 yards of offense. They had nearly 500. Brady throws for 530 yards, but only ends up with two touchdowns and a pick. Sonny Michelle, 14 runs, two touchdowns, and a touchdown for James White. Receiving-wise, monster games. Three receivers at at least 100 
and 10 yards. Edelman and Harry with the touchdowns. No sacks allowed, shockingly. And McCourty led the way on defense. Dietrich Wise had himself a good game. And again, a 55-yard field goal for Steven Goskowski at the end. I am so proud of myself for not shanking that. We handled that perfectly. You never give Tom Brady that much time. It was the power of knowing that I had God, anime, and Tom Brady on my side. That's all you need in life. And Keel Henry, to superstar development, gets the 2,000 XP, but the superstar development is the big news here as we are up to 4-1, and one, and now we host the Giants, and for the second week in a row, we have a breakout player. We'll see who that is in a second. First and foremost, we have ourselves some upgrades. Kyle Van Noy, up to a 78 overall. That is huge. And Keel Harry, up to a 76. Welcome to the Green Club, Mr. Harry, with that superstar development. Obi Melafon Wu. Obi, up to a 73. Not too shabby. For the 25-year-old, normal dev still. And we will auto-upgrade the other three. So the big question here is we get Philip Dorsett back from injury, which is a big boost for the receiving core. First and foremost, let's take a look at the rest of the wide receivers that we have available. We're going to look at everyone who is projected to be drafted before moving on. Here we go. Breakout player for the second week in a row. It is Sony Michelle. Oh my god, how lucky can we be? If Sony has a 150 yard game, his dev pattern goes up. We take on the 1 and 4 New York Football Giants. And a week after seeing Harry take a step up, we are one good performance away from seeing Sony Michelle take a step up as well. And even if we lose Brady, we're looking at a number one receiver and a number one running back sorted. It'll just be a matter of finding the quarterback to replace Brady, which is as daunting of a task as it sounds. But that is absolutely tremendous. Now, we will sim to halftime in this one rather than playing immediately. And we'll take it from there. As the Giants put up a field goal on their opening drive, we respond with a touchdown. Please let it be from Sony Michelle. That would be great news. Uh, it was not a three yard touchdown pass to Philip Dorsett in his return. Let's go to the half. 10 3 Patriots, now 17 3. 17 6 is the score at the half. We see a 34 yard field goal. For Goskowski, a 51-yard touchdown pass to Julian Edelman. And that was that. So let's let's do this, shall we? First and foremost, Sony Michelle, what are you at yardage-wise in this game thus far? You are currently on 18 yards. Well, damn. We have our work cut out for us, and if anything, I might have left us with a little bit too little time. There is a chance that I left us with just a bit too little time. Oh my god, I wanted him to take a knee. That's alright, we made it work and got it back up to the 26. Alright. The good thing is we're winning. There's not a ton of pressure here. But we are running with Sony Michelle, or James White, it's supposed to be Sony Michelle. Uh, we are going to run with Sony Michelle until the wheels fall off, because we have no choice. Michelle's fine, I'm not sure why he's not in. But, yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. A little bit more pressure on us. Thought there was going to be a fumble there. A little bit more pressure on us, with Michelle not having a very good first half. 150 yards is going to be tough, especially if they stack up like this to prevent the run. So let's see. I cannot option out to the gun. We're going for it. And it might work. Big stiff arm from Michelle. Get some good yardage out of that. He's up to 30 yards. Only thing I'm worried about is did we leave ourselves with too little time based off of player fatigue? Time will tell. James White 
Up the middle. It's just above the 50. To the 49. We're looking good. Needs a hope. But Sony's back in, and he is. A little bit worried because they are bringing the pressure, but we got to go for it. Great blocking from the line. Good job there from Sony. That's another 10 yards. 110 yards away from having Sony Michelle be the running back of my dreams. As if he isn't already. Let's do this. We have Tom Brady and we're barely going to use him. Oh, baby. No! Woo -hoo -hoo, what a catch by Andrews. There was a gap and then there wasn't. Andrews saves the day. And unfortunately, again, there's nothing there with Sony. We can option out to the gun. And that'll help at least a little bit more. If the O-line shows up. And that's going to be just shy of the first, I think. Yeah. 100 yards away for Sony, though. James White's in. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for this. I trust James White. I trust the blocking. Oh, my God. I was right to trust the blocking. <laughs> We are running the Giants down right now. Sony back in. Nope, James White still in. That's all right. We'll go for it. We'll keep the running attack going. If we run James White out, then Sony will be back in sooner rather than later. The best bet honestly could be to just get to the goal line and run it in with Michelle three times. Just air it out, get to the goal line, and pound it in. That might be the backup plan. That was some god-awful blocking. All right, we're probably gonna have to throw here. Yeah, James White's still in. All right, let's see what we got. Kawan and Edelman, he wasn't quite there. Brady! I think he's gonna be just short. Yep, fourth and one. He's just short. I am not afraid to go for it from here, though. Let's go out of strong. Just go with the running back dive with Sony. Boy, they are. They are stacking up. All right. Let's, uh, please let me audible again. Bring me to gun, please. That's not gun. I hit gun. Fuck it. Come on. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh my god, Sony Michelle! What was that? What the fuck was that? Even the celebration's broken. Sony Michelle somehow doesn't fall over. I just missed that point after. No, I didn't. I almost did. How the hell did Michelle not fall? That's one hell of a fourth down conversion. And with that, we are looking good. Just going to hope the defense can stop them relatively quickly, and they do. And we are back to the ground game. James White is in. We're going to stick with it, though. I'm going to trust the offensive line again here. And I was right to do so. Six-yard pickup. It's the one thing, though, man. We need Sony in a little bit more. He's in here. It is a blitz, but we're going to go for it. Oh, my God. We very nearly didn't get that handoff in time. That was close. 67 yards now for Sony. I'm trying to think what's quicker at this point. Simming the halftime might have cost me. You know, if Sony's not in, we're airing it out. Technically, it takes away the amount of yardage we have to throw. Ah, Edelman. Damn it. It's all right. Second and ten. Please tell me Sony's back in. Damn it. We're going to run it with White. All I can think is that the three touchdowns might honestly be easier to get. I love you, James White, so much. Good cut. We're looking okay. Slightly. White is still in. Which is a little bit concerning, but we're going to go for it. Big pickup from Harry. Big juke, big play. Well done from Harry. James White still in, huh? Well, let's go play action. And just pounding it in from the goal line with Sony Michelle might be the answer. 
Huge play from Demarius Thomas. Gets us up to the eight. I think the three touchdowns, that's going to be the better way to go. From the looks of it. Michelle is in. There is nothing open for us there. That might help, though. Let's see if Izzo can get the blocking. Sony, there's a face mask that's going to bring us to the one. Looked like he might have been able to... Was that a touchdown regardless? Regardless, it's on the one. All right, well... <sighs> what do we want to do here? This is a tough one. James White is in. That doesn't help. That doesn't help. I'm fine with that. If anything, that's what I was hoping for. I was trying to think of what was the quickest way to have the ball be stopped. For the love of God, game, give me Sony Michelle, please. There we go. I don't know if this sweep is going to work, but we have to hope it does. Yes, what a block. Sony Michelle is in untouched. And we are one touchdown away from getting Michelle that upgrade. Very, very good. We're up 31 to 6. We start at our own 3. But hopefully we can drive all the way down and get that touchdown. That didn't help. It's a loss of one. Michelle's only on 76 yards. It's going to take the touchdowns at this point, clearly. We're up to 2. So It's just a matter of how the hell we're going to get out of this situation. Let's see if we can get this with James White. Got a little bit of yardage. Got the yardage back, basically. This was an awful situation to start. But let's see what we can do here. Yep, the second I threw that, I knew I done goofed. That was an awful throw. Tom, I'm, Tom, I'm sorry. That was, uh, imagine, imagine doing that. Imagine having the balls to pull off that celebration when you're down 31-13. The second I threw that ball, I'm like, well, fuck. I thought the linebacker was going to uh, opt out a little bit. He he did not. He did not. He stuck right to that middle zone. And that did indeed fuck me. That did indeed. Sony Michelle is a wrecking ball. He fumbles, but Kendricks is gone. We're not going to take it back all the way. Yes, we are. So that was me. Uh, that was me trying to down myself. <laughs> but I was too close to the end zone that that happened. So take your pick six and shove it. Apparently. Damn it, that was me actively trying to down myself at the one yard line. Oh my god, Sony Michelle, you're disgusting. Alright, note to self, just run out of bounds next time, because if you're that close, even though you tell your guy to down himself rather than do that, that can still happen. See, we learned lessons today. We learned lessons. That was god awful blocking. I was gonna pass, but I'm like, hey, maybe. No, it didn't quite work that way. Oh, God. I had a chance to get it right there, and of course the game said, no, no, no. That's not happening that way. Yeah, the boy Thomas. It's so weird to see Thomas again in a Patriots uniform. Not again in a uniform, but just in the uniform. To reiterate that point, that is going to take some getting used to, man. Alright, let's uh, bring me back to the gun, please. Thank you. Kendricks, you are definitely the target. Jesus Christ. You know, I didn't think that was going to directly go for a touchdown. I'm making this much more difficult on myself than I need to. Like, much more difficult on myself than I need to. God damn. 
<sighs> All right. Well, hey, we got good starting field position at least. And here's Sony. <sighs> you know, the second I pulled off that juke, I said to myself, he's going to fumble, isn't he? I'm going to juke the first guy, but the second guy is going to murder me. He's going to fumble, isn't he? The answer was yes. I might. Oh, my God. All right, I have to do this now. Like, we're starting at our own 25. I am... I am playing with fire here in terms of not actually getting this done because everything everything's happening. Please hold on to that, Thomas. I hate you. Oh, I hate you, Thomas. I love you, but I hate you. We're going to run the same deal. Right, we got eight minutes. We're fine. God, <laughs> like I understand why people are struggling to hold on to these, but then again, we caught the other one in the end zone, you know? Like, oh, can we please hold on to these? Possession, thank you. When in doubt, start possession catching. We need a rushing touchdown from Sony Michelle on this drive, or there is a very good chance we're not going to get it. Again, it's going right down to the wire. Nope. Bad boy Tom. And Akeel Harry's right there. Holy hell. How did we fight that one off? 399 yards now for Brady. 28 yards away. I did not want to go to Super Sim. Thank you. Just go off of coach suggestions here. 28 yards away. Sony's in. You never know. This could be the run. Spoiler alert, it was not the run. Spoiler alert. Twas not the run. We are going back to the gun, even with our tired receivers. Dorsett, you need to get open, for the love of God. Thank you. Alright, up to the 20. It needs to be a rushing touchdown from Sony Michelle. Brady is in the zone. When is he not? He's Tom freaking Brady. Now, I'm going to call a timeout here. Let the team rest up a little bit. Let the team rest up. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. There we go. We were looking kind of tired. We're looking better now. All right, James. I believe in you. I was right to do so. We're up to the 10. One touchdown away from Sony Michelle turning into the man of my dreams. You know, when you phrase it that way, it sounds a bit off, but hey, who are you to judge? That is not going to work. And I cannot opt into the gun. So screw it. Go for it. You never know. Pick up a three, I'll take it. Only 92 yards. James White's in. We'll see what yardage we can get. Don't break too many tackles, James. Thank you. All right, we got two plays here. Two running plays to get the job done. Boys, we need the best blocking display we've ever seen. Come on. No! No! We're running out of time. Oh God! Stop! Stop with the celebrations. Let me pick some. Let me pick a play, would you? Oh my God! No! No! Give me back to the run. Thank you. Sweep. <sighs> Come on, boys. You got this. You, I know you got this. Come on. Come on. Come on. You fucking blew it. All right. I'm gonna see if the team can get the ball back. All right, 251. We're on the 14. This is it. This is it. This is my last chance. An interception gives us another chance. And they are going to do everything they can to stop me. If I fail this, I am going to literally cry myself to sleep tonight. Oh, my God. The good thing is we can get a first down and be fine. This is slowly turning into a nightmare. 
Easy, down yourself, perfect. We have four plays to run this in with Sony Michelle, or I am gonna cry myself to sleep. We're about to hit the two minute warning. We have four plays to run this in with Michelle, or I am gonna cry myself to sleep. Oh God, all right. James White's in even though it's supposed to be Sony. I gotta call a timeout here. I have to call a timeout. It needs to be Sony. It needs to be Sony. All those trap plays except for one are white, so... I don't have faith in this fucking working, but hey, if we can get some yardage, that'll be good. Ah! Boy, you know, if it let me have Sony Michelle. Ah. Fuck, I hit the wrong button. It's all going to shit. Using my other timeout. <laughs> it's all going to shit. Ah. All right. Now, for the love of God. For the love of God, block. For all you're worth, Devlin. Come on. Two more plays after this. Yes, yes, the fullback fucked me. He blocked the wrong guy. We got two plays left. Two plays left. This is this is looking rough. I'm gonna trust you on this, boys. Come on. Come on, please. I want this so badly. I want this so badly! <laughs> Come on! Are you fucking kidding me? This is how it's gonna go? Oh my god. Uh, I am so upset. Please, for the love of god, let this work. Yes! Thank God! Oh, thank God, Sony! You did it, buddy! Holy shit! Fourth and goal, last offensive play of the game, and we got it! Harry and Sony Michelle, the future of this team. Holy hell, that's the first time I've ever gotten three touchdowns as opposed to 150 yards on that challenge. That is the first time that's ever happened. I said we would sim a little bit more in this episode. I did not think we would get back-to-back -back player breakouts. So that will be the last game of the episode, obviously. I suppose I could have skipped, but hey, you at least get to enjoy my struggles. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. That was so close to being a nightmare, but ultimately, it's beautiful. Sony Michelle, also up to Superstar Dev, gets another 2K XP, and the Patriots are 5-1, and one, a perfect 3-0 in this episode, heading into MetLife in the next week. The next episode, I hope... We will sim even more. This first season might take a little bit longer than I expected. But it's been about securing the future. And we have indeed secured the future. We know that Sony Michelle and Harry will both be the leaders of this team moving forward. They're still both going to show up. Actually, no, they're not going to show up as hidden. We know Sony is there. Harry, of course, is still hidden, but we already know what it is. Things are looking very, very good for the Patriots through six games of the regular season. That's five wins in a row. How about them Cowboys? Perfect. 6-0 and to start the year. I will see you guys in the next one. We are going to call it there. Hopefully, we get to sim a lot. But for now, I don't mind the slow and steady approach. Just a little bit of a departure from what we normally do.